Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 27. We're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We finished up with all our prehistoric shenanigans. We got the gate key back after beating uh, Nisbel, Mr. Big and Tall, and, um, and recovering the gate key and the Dreamstone. So now we should be able to come here to Melchior's cabin and get the Muzzamoon reforged. At least that's the hope. That's, he said we needed the dr Dreamstone. We got it. Dear me, you truly found Dreamstone. Yes, that will do quite nicely. With that, I can make the blade whole again. But first, the Mazamoon. And now this Dreamstone? How in the world did you... No, I suppose it does not matter. Make yourselves at home. This will take some time. I'll lend you a hand. Please do. You, you got anything on the stove? Can I raid your fridge? No? No snacks? No? Nothing there? How are you going to fix it? You just leave this to me. Pacing, meandering... Of course the Dreamstone must be refined if we're to repair the Mazamoon, but that is not all. The blade itself must be activated as well. You work on the Dreamstone, I will take care of the sword. Okay, fear not. The great Luca knows her way around a workshop. Ha ha ha. To reawaken the sword, I must first breathe life back into its shattered remains. This is pretty complicated. Think you can go somewhere else for a while? You're ruining my concentration. Alright, it's done. Could you bring me the Dreamstone? I'm done here too. How convenient. Alright, let's get started. Those seem to be very simple sprites. But that's all sprite time. Bright lights. Slow animations. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Da -da 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 -da. Oh wait, wrong game. Behold, the Muzzamoon. It's all its glory. Wow, that's the same sword we gave you? <laughs> if you were expecting lesser work, you shouldn't have come to me. Ha ha ha. Okay, Chrono, let's take the Muzzamoon to Frog. A sword can be used as a tool for ending lives or as one for saving them. It all depends on the one who wields it. Be sure you wield yours for the proper reason. Would you like to buy something? Ah, right, let's take a look. I'm pretty sure I've already got better than I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all well well beyond what you sell, good sir. Except for those shelters. Um, since I'm looted, I'll go ahead and buy... Eight. Okay. That's about the going price you're going to find anywhere else. That is one of the nice things. Um, because the uh, SNES was so limited, you ended up with consistent pricing across all the shops because to do anything else would take more memory and a lot more memory than anybody was willing to dedicate to that end. So uh, that's nice. All right. We... Why am I going there? We need to go back into the cupboard. Because we need to get to 600 AD. Now, there is another couple of things that I want to do once we reunite with Frog and before we go to the Magic Cave. But first, let's, um... I don't mind us. We're just heading back through your cabinet. Do do do. Thread that's tickling my beard over here. And so if you keep wondering why I'm making funny faces over here, Go to Protodome. No. Uh, 
Bruce Canyon, 600 AD. Yes, that's the one I want. All right, let's make our way here, hopefully with minimum fighting, but of course not. I'm not even wasting the magic points on you guys. You were supposed to be tough many levels ago. Now you're just an annoyance. See, even the weakest one with her bow manages to get you. Learned Ice Sword too. Oh, I didn't realize I hadn't learned that one. I thought I already had that one in the bag. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, next time I got time to grind, I will probably scare up a few more free shelters over there. But, uh, that ain't now. So, let's head back into the Cursed Woods. And let's go find Frog. Skip, ah, uh, okay. I was trying to skip most of these. All right, you know what? Let's see if we can't deal with these guys with a quickness. There we go. That's how it's done. All right. Here we go, Mr. Froggy. You've come again. That's a big sword for a little frog, I'm just saying. The sword. No, it couldn't be. The Mazamoon? Uh-oh, I smell a flashback coming. I must ponder this turn of events. You may remain here for the night. You only got one bed, it might get awkward. Yep, here comes our flashback. Cyrus, you're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's long past time we reclaim the badge from the Frog King. And I need to see that sword with my own eyes. Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lenny and I need you as well. See that you return. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall, come what may. Well then, by your leave... Sir Cyrus, take a knee. Oh wait, no, you can't be animated to do that. No, there we go. On behalf of the knighthood, we wish you a safe journey and Godspeed. My brothers. I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from her enemies. Pardon the delay. Let us be on our way. Glenn, you be careful too. Be well, your majesty. I think we all know where this is going. So, you seek the hero's badge, knight of the kingdom of men? Come and take it then if you can, croak. That is what I mean to do. Nirvana Strike. I guess that's where you come as you are. As you were. As you... No. Oh, sorry. Filthy badge. Do not think I'll forget this. Glenn. Yeah. Glenn, watch out. Cyrus, your sword. The Mazamoon. Ah ha ha, is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. Grr, you've not bested me yet. Cyrus, I'm, I'm done for. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold them here. Use that chance to escape. Stay and they'll only kill us both. Go, Glenn. 
Hadn't you better worry about yourself, Cyrus? I do not think you're, you've the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go. Ah! Cyrus! Run. Run, Glenn. Flee, you fool. Oh, wait. The Queen. Take care of Queen Lenny. I beg. Oh. Cyrus? No. No. Okay. How many movie and song references can I cram into a single episode? <laughs> hmm. What's the matter? Are you not going to try your luck? Grr. Ha ha ha. Like a scared little frog with no pond to jump into. How about it, Lord Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Very well. No act of defiance goes unpunished. No. Ugh. Ah! Almost like I awkwardly moved to the edge. That's more like it, you spineless wimp. And now we know the history of Frog. Ten long years have passed. No, I won't sing that one either. <laughs> have I the strength? Osiris. Come on, pick up the sword. You know you want to. Awaken, Chrono. I do not know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let's go to Magus. Magus's keep. His strength is no small thing. Do you understand the odds we face? Nothing can beat science. Well, the good guys always win. Well, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna stick with them for right now because I need to start uh, getting them to learn some text together because we need to head we need to head into um, Bikio to get Frog some magic first but let's see what these guys can learn by working together real quick because he's still got a couple of he's got slurp slurp slash and X strike and he might have something else that he can pick up with Marley at least until he gets his water magic um, 78 XP, 4 tech points, 360 gold. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're, uh, able to do much. Ah, oh, bother. Come on, man. Let me buy. I think I just accidentally slurped somebody. Not that it's gonna matter. They all did. Yes. Done. Done. Bam. Okay. So, we're going to head back to the end of time, get Frog some water magic, and this is where one of the more interesting aspects of, uh, of the game come in. So, Remember, this is where the rich guy was handing out like 10 gold for you to dance like a chicken. And everybody was like, oh man, I wish I had a dad. My dad sucks and all that. So she's going to ask, if only I had some spiced jerky, what a wonderful meal I could make. The box is beside the bed. I'm going to hand it down, yada yada. They're yours if you can open them. A place known as the Magic Cave. Okay, no, he doesn't say anything new. Oh, Tata, always stirring up trouble. But how could a person be wroth? at that innocent little face. Alright, what about you, kid? I'm gonna see... I'm, I'm gonna be Tata's bride one day. Oh, how cute. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna keep going through all the villages. What I need to do now is we need to get to the end of time. Get Frog some water magic and just remember that... remember that uh, request for some jerky. And remember the jerky family that grows up there by 1000 AD. Because you're going to find that one of the interesting parts of this game is that some things 
Um, I'm not wasting the magic. Um, some things seem like if you didn't interfere, nothing would change. Ooh, I forgot to see if he actually had the Mazamun equipped, and I forgot to give him his ruby armor. All right. You know what? While I'm thinking about that, let's go to equipment. Let's go to frog. Uh, iron sword? But where's the muzzle moon? All right, let's get you up to your stone helm at least. <laughs> From 16 to 45. And we'll keep the... Uh, ooh. No, let's do the hero's badge. The muzzle moon. Interesting. All right, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, anyway. Easily distracted. So you see that some things, like, um, when you play through the new game plus to get some of the different endings, you can fight Lavos at a certain time, and it'll restart the game in such a way that you all wake up reptites. So it's like, if you weren't there to help Ayla, the the humans would not have survived. But we're going to be able to affect other changes that only seem to make a difference if you do something. Now there's a weird fellow. Looks like his power is water and a frog. Who'd have guessed? Ipso facto minimo magico. Frog learned to use magic. So, all fortify with magic. Want to try it out? Nope. <laughs> Make any new friends? Bring me, bring him to see me here. Okay, so let's take a look at text. So he's got slurp, slurp, slash, and water. And then we just got to get him the tech points for heal and move on from there. Uh, and now that he's got water, we should be able to do some of the other, uh, some of the other tech training. So we'll start swapping people out for that. So first, since we've, uh, managed to accomplish a few things, let's go ahead and save the data. Maybe he doesn't equip the Mazamun until we get to the cave. Anyway, um, is this the one I want? The Banger Dome? No. Go to Lenny Square. Yes. Let's hope we don't get arrested. <laughs> now, there was a vendor. I forget where he was. Was he somewhere around here? Uh, that's the race guy. Those are the people talking about the race. Maybe, maybe he was back in his shop. Let's check the shops. All right, residence, Chrono's house. Ah, let's go ahead and have frog meat mama. Dear me, how many times have I told you to keep your pets outside? Milady, I am no pet. I am an accomplished swordsman, green as I may appear. Oh, forgive me, sir. I just thought, I mean, I meant no offense, Sir Knight. Truly. My name is... Yes? On second thought, Sir Knight will suffice. Oh. Come on. Um... With this guy? Yeah. Lodging is ten gold. Would you like to stay for the night? No. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. Who was it that had... Somebody had some jerky for sale. Because remember, she said that if only she had some spiced jerky. Um, no. That's just going to be all the training. Let's try the market. Welcome. Not that market. I don't think it was in any of the residencies. Residences? Yeah, no. 
Wasn't those guys. They just yak on about the fair. Nope. Oh, almost forgot. I should go ahead and for the moment switch those two out. So we can go down to Luca's house, and I think this is about the time that he gives her something new. Oh, perfect timing. Obtain, ob obtain, attain, obtained Taban's helm. That's all, folks. Another great invention just completed. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. I don't remember if that's better than the stone helm, though. All right, Tavon's helm is... Ooh, that's a defense of 20. That is a defense of 24 with a magic defense of 10. Okay, nope, that's it. That's 45, that's 33. Yeah, no. Nah. Still better off sticking with the ruby vest for now. All right, now we can get our party back in order. Or at least the order we wanted. For the moment, at least. We don't need the Coastal Vortex. Because it was somebody over here. Uh, we will need to go to the castle a little bit later, but not, that's something that can wait until the next trip. Um, I kind of wish we knew what happened to the village that was over here. Because sudden mountain range is sudden. Or is it coastal erosion? All right, uh, somebody over here, maybe. Let's try the poor in. No, I don't think it was him. Let's try this market. Nope. Nail shop. Maybe it was a snail shop. All right, some monsters, yada yada. There we go. I've got some spice jerky, but I'm saving it for a special occasion. I might let some go, say, for 9900 Sold. Now, <laughs> there's a customer of good taste. Here you go. And we might end up having to do that again. I forget if he only sells the one or if he does it later. So just remember that over here in the mayor's manor, we've got... The children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. I run this town and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. Give you ten gold if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. No thanks. Not this time. Boring. Dad loves money more than he loves me. I hate my dad more than anyone in the whole world. Yikes. And up here we've got, everybody says daddy's greedy. That's not true, is it? All right, so that's what we got right now. Now let's run back. <laughs> run back. This is one of those side quests that's actually a little bit easier to do later in the game when you have certain uh, equipment that you will obtain. But uh, since we're here, might as well. Because we're going to end up going back to the past and let's head this way. Back to the gate. Trippy, trippy teleport. Maybe we just need the Stargate theme. That's it. All right. Go to Truce Canyon. Yep. Okay, you guys are going to make this a... Okay. Of course you are. This should be quick. Because he's about the right level for this. Iron sword or not. 22 XP. 2 tech points. 90 gold. Ice water dual tech. Sword stream dual tech. There we go. Now we're starting to rack up the dual techs. I think that's the best they the Marley and Frog can do until... Until Frog gets his next uh, his next magic, so let's swap them out. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, because I think heal factors in the next few. Let's go ahead and pick a fight. And try to pick up another dual tech while we're at it. Ooh, sorry, this episode is running a little bit longer than I meant to. Potion. Nope, not yet. Okay. And now we run all the way back down. Yep. So that island is going to be suddenly big enough to hold. Yeah, maybe it is a coastline change. Is that island supposed to get bigger? Oh, huh. I never noticed the inconsistencies in the continental size until just now. All right, we're going to go to the elder's house and we're going to go. Oh, is that not spiced jerky you're carrying? Might you part with it for 10,000 gold? Now you can say yes and sell it for 100 gold profit. And then keep doing that. Buying it, selling it, buying it, selling it. Or you can go take it for free. Truly? Oh, thank you. I would thought kindness and sharing gone from this world altogether. I'll teach my children from your example. There are greater things in life than money. So... Remember that we did that. Because, um... Yeah. Strange things will happen... Later. This is where we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and... Save. Yeah, because nobody's health is so low that it's... Worth even them. Yeah. We're going to save... We're going to go to the credits, and this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out, and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So, live folks. Give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.